Hey, I wanted to share something with you. Snodgy have just now put out a video about their new exhibition taking place in Taipei. You know, there is also a Computex going on, but Snodgy always have their own event nearby. And uh, this is the video and we can try and break it down. What's what's going on? So it looks like So it looks like they have created something similar to B Station, which means um, plug and play almost solution where you don't need to install a West RAID, anything like that. You just plug it in and everything is available to you. Obviously, you don't get DSM full feature rich solution, but you do get a uh, basic thing like Active Protect Manager, which means you will be able to back up your our virtual machines, your cloud applications, see your activities, and then there are a few things like plans, user management, notifications, logs interface. So you can see it comes with a monitoring uh, system where you can see how many PCs, how many virtual machines are being backed up, and how much space does it take, is there any warnings, errors, something to pay attention to. So it's a really easy way to manage your IT infrastructure in your workplace. So you can link together up to 2,500 sites. And it looks like when you link together all of these synergies in multiple places, you can actually easily manage and see what's the situation in every location on every server, all in one place. So it looks like it also works with third-party companies, so you can back up products from uh, VMware, which is going to be your virtual machines or Linux machines. You can install your Apple client and do the system backup on the image level, just like Time Machine. You can back up Microsoft products like uh, Microsoft Office or Google Workspace. This is actually what a B station does, uh, and now it looks like this new lineup will do whatever B station was doing and now it, on top of that you can also back up everything to do with virtual machines and really basic bare metal level because B station was only allowing you to back up everything to do with folder level or folder sync so this is the next tier where you can actually do your backups to a bare metal level this is what you normally could have done with plus series uh, synologies using active backup for business but now it looks like you can do this on this new lineup. So they are talking now again about worm technology, which means write once, read many, which means you cannot delete files if you choose so. So if a ransomware hits you, they have no chance to delete any files or folders because they come with write-only permissions. And this looks cool as well. So they're trying to get into enterprise market like HP servers, Dell servers. You can go up to 96 servers linked together. And you can see here as well, there is a new model mentioned, GS6200. So this is gonna be one of their new uh, rack mount solutions with this operating system that doesn't run on DSM, but it comes with something like B station, everything pre-installed, pre-set up, all you need to do is create credentials for the accessing the thing. This is actually similar to Jelly Fin Approach and other big companies that sell video editing solutions, for example. You can also go up to 20 petabytes in data storage per cluster. This is quite significant storage space, to be honest. So it looks like uh, Office and all the collaboration tools will be also included with this server. And it's not just Office, spreadsheets and documents. It also comes with AI built-in features, which means you can create documents or emails with the support of AI, which means you can create the backbone general idea about the email. And AI will make sure it's very easy to read and there is no spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes. And it can also speed up a process of understanding emails. So 
because you can summarize things, extract core questions or concerns of an email. Here is also an improvement with Synology Drive, which is a Dropbox alternative where you normally synchronize a folder. Now you can have 150,000 clients running this Drive app. So it feels like you're running your own Dropbox setup, your own server. 150,000, that's a lot of connections you can have. Looks like there is something new coming out. Uh, they already had surveillance cameras with AI features built in, but I can see now they are linking them with their own C2 cloud, which means that all recording can go up to the cloud. So if burglars break into the house and knock out the cameras and steal your NAS, this will ensure that the copy of your data, of your footage, is stored up in the cloud. So you have local copy and the cloud copy. And maybe they'll have also an option for cloud-only solutions, so you don't even need a NAS. You just get a camera and back the surveillance up to the cloud. In that case, all you would need is just a camera which records directly to the cloud. How safe is that? So you can see these are the three existing cameras, what they have, and now they have new feature to store the data in the cloud. Also, it's very important to mention encryption because uh, they said themselves that all the data, all the footage, what is stored in C2 cloud is encrypted. Even Synology cannot see data themselves because it's all just gibberish up in the cloud. Only you with your client device can actually decode and see what that data is. I was hoping they were about to release a new 8 bays, new 4 bays, or something to do with desktop units, but it looks like they are, instead of replacing units at this point, they are adding another line of products, and this is going to be very similar to B Station but on steroids. So it has not just folder level backup, it also has bare bound backup options, virtual machine backup, and all that so easy to set up in a workplace. And it's also nice to see AI features to be rolled into a software like surveillance and the office. So if you wanna have a look at the new lineup, you can do that in Taipei on 4th of June.